In Beijing, they're using the technology to prevent people stealing rolls of loo paper from public toilets. We have created a new implant, which is not a chip, it's a full device where you can add different functions. Pinch of the skin, and in a matter of seconds, the chip is inserted. Student Hannah Herving is also freshly chipped. An app using face scanning technology to confirm someone's identity and geo-mapping to check exactly where they are. AI. So it works, right? This New York Times investigation woke us all up. The realization privacy may be a thing of the past. Our facial recognition is in Australian schools. You may not know it, but facial recognition technology is quietly being rolled out and becoming the norm. Well, the government wants to set up a database that would match images of everyone captured on CCTV with their driver's licence and passport photos. They've dubbed the system the capability. The chip that it is in the tablet, and once you take the tablet and dissolves into your stomach, it sends a signal that you took the tablet. So imagine the applications of that, uh, compliance. The app scans your face to check that you're a real person and the right person. Face verification happens then and there and is only needed at the time you set up your MyGov ID. The image captured during this process is checked against existing government records. Already the authorities are using facial recognition to name and shame citizens, even for minor offences like jaywalking. As the technology develops, so too does the capacity for it to be abused. And across China, police officers are now trialing sunglasses and body cameras loaded with facial and gesture recognition technology. If our government is allowed to continue with its plan of mass biometric surveillance, the legislation even allows them to share our data with third-party companies that could be from overseas. They could sell our data back to us, sell our own medical records to us. Some people are genuinely concerned that they're being commodified, objectified and dehumanised. Our lives would never be the same. Our children would never know the freedoms we grew up with. For any of us that thought this would never happen in our country, it has already begun. Help United Australia Party to save Australia from the overreach of power and unwarranted control and suppression that both sides of government have shown us in the last few years. Help set Australia free. Freedom forever. Authorised by Clive Palmer for the United Australia Party, Brisbane.